Let's make a Power Rangers Lots Galaxy full toy guide. That's right, there's a complete toy guide for the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy and let's see it together. First we have the Galaxy Navigator which is some sort of a weapon with some uh, sort of GPS, toy GPS uh, thing. And this is a reprint from the Turbo and In Space Navigator, so it's not a brand new toy, just a reprint version for the Lost Galaxy team. It has green details and compares to an In Space Navigator that is red and the Turbo is blue. So we have the In Space, the Lost Galaxy Navigator, which is green. And I was unable to find more details online. There's the the manual, but I can't read it because uh, there's the only photo I found for the for the navigator. And I don't know what it does, what what is its gimmicks, but it looks cool. It's a toy. It's the first toy of the line. Then we have the Digizord, and well. I, I didn't have this digital sword when I was a kid, but I had an LCD toy, um, L LCD game, which was a game and a sort of a toy action figure attached to the game. It is not an official Bandai uh, product. It, it is licensed, but it's not from Bandai, so it's not on this list. It, it is, this, this is just the official Bandai toys. The third party toys are not here. But I had a similar to this Digizord, which was a game. This D Digizord is a Power Rangers game on a toy. <laughs> That's very neat. And there's the standard version of this Digizord. We have a red version of the Digizord, which is, I don't know if it has a different game from the standard. I guess not, but who knows? Huh? Uh, the ones I have, the keychain uh, LCD games I, I had, there was different games. But this one, I, I don't know. We have the red, the, the standard, the red one, the blue one, and this blue one is cool because it is sort of translucent, translucent blue, very awesome. And we have the Digi uh, Bullzord or Torozord. And yeah, that's that's it for the the Digizord light. Oh no, we have another one. We have a green one. So we have a green Digizord. Pretty neat. But this green is a uh, green Bullzord. Yeah. So we have the standard Galactizord, the red Galactizord, the blue Galactizord, and the Torozord and the green Torozord. Digizord. <laughs> Pretty neat. Oh, it has, we also have a blue uh, Torozord. Pretty, pretty awesome. Then we have the talking Lost Galaxy Ranger, which are the basic figures for the line. So it, it, the Ranger comes with a backpack, and I believe that that is the backpack that makes the Ranger talk. I'm not sure. I don't have these toys, and I haven't seen online reviews on these toys because. Retro review are very rare in the internet. That's why I'm making this this guide for retro collectors and to preserve Power Rangers toy history. And you see the the, the this basic figures they have a weapon, a grace, a gray weapon, gray galact saber, a gray trans dagger, and some sort of unique weapon that is exclusive to the toy. It has no counterpart on the show and the backpack which makes I guess makes the ranger talk huh? we have the red ranger the blue ranger with his signature trans dagger weapon backpack uh, saber exclusive weapon blue ranger again with his trans dagger saber Exclusive weapon, backpack. Also, we have the yellow ranger, but the yellow and the pink ranger they are a little bit different because they come with uh, again the daggers, the weapons, the exclusive weapon, the backpack, and some foot. 
I don't know why just the female rangers have the this food food accessory. I'm I'm not sure why. Yeah, because the Lost Galaxy Girls has this food accessory, and the Lightspeed Rescue Girls also have the same, uh, not the same, but a similar uh, food food um, uh, armor. I don't know. But maybe girls like to be on fashion <laughs> or, so, or something. <laughs> and then we have the Pink Ranger with her. Trans dagger, transform into a bow, exclusive weapon, backpack, and trans dagger and quasi saber. We also have the Magna Defender, talking Magna Defender, with his sword, which is not a quasi saber. Uh, his sword transform into a blaster, and some other weapon, which I can clearly see what it is. And he has no backpack. <laughs> We have also this evil space guy. Uh, I guess he's the captain of the Lost Galaxy. I don't remember him from the show. I, I do remember, sort of. Yeah. And this space android guy, which I definitely don't remember. <laughs> but maybe, maybe it is a Japanese exclusive toy, or I don't know. I wonder why they didn't make Trakina, which was the main villain for the Lost Galaxy. I know it, it was American exclusive, but man, it would, it would be way better than this crazy guy space android. <laughs> then we have the deluxe micro. No, this is not the the micro sect. Yeah, the, no, these are the action swords. Action swords. So we have the action swords here. The Astro Mega Ship. It is red Mega Ship. With the with some sort of a green and red in space ranger. They're not the Lost Galaxy Ranger. They're in in the space ranger for what I can see from the visors. I, I have to zoom in the image to be sure. And if it is the in space ranger, we have some sort of an exclusive green ranger. <laughs> uh, but uh, it is toy. Toy counterparts, they they make whatever because we have a red Astro Mega Ship and we all know the Mega Astro Mega Ship is blue. <laughs> but here it is. Then we have the Mega Winger, a blue Mega Winger, which was supposed to be yellow, and for the Silver Ranger, and for the in space Power Ranger, not for the Lost Galaxy, but here. Yeah. I think this they do transform into their uh, ship mode, I don't know. I don't have I don't have these toys and I haven't seen any online review on this action uh, Lost Galaxy uh, Zords. And this one, this one I do have. This is the Galaxy Megazord. It is uh, a toy pretty much the size of my hand. I have I have it on my shelf over there and it was part of my childhood childhood. And if you press the the button it has on the back, the the pink the pink sword uh, hand moves and kind of makes a shop action with the sword. And if you move the the galactic condor from the back to the other hand, you can shoot the missile the the galactic condor's head as a missile. I had this toy when I was a kid. I love it. It was one of my favorite toys ever. It's still over there on my shelf. I have a review on this channel. I'll leave the the link in the description if you guys want to see it. And man, this one, I have good memories for it. And it's a very cute and accurate uh, version of the Lost Galaxy Megazord. Awesome. Pretty awesome. Then we have the Torozord for the Lost Galaxy. I don't know if it transforms, but mm, I guess it sort of has some neat actions. We have the Santarvus Megazord, which is pretty cool. And we have the Stratoforce Megazord, which kind of have probably by the picture here we have some, uh, I guess they have some hand, hand karate shop action. 
Then we have the Defender Torozord, which is the Torozord transformed. So, yeah, that's that. And oh boy, we have the Astro Cycle. I didn't have the Astro Cycle when I was a kid. I bought I bought my Astro Cycle uh, a couple of years ago, and boy, oh boy, I love this Astro Cycle, man. We have the the Ranger, which is already nice for itself, with a motorcycle, and the motorcycle has an armor which you can uh, equip on the ar the motorcycle and become a buffier motorcycle, or you can get the the armor in the motorcycle and transfer it to the Ranger, so it become it becomes an armor for the Ranger. Man, oh man, oh man, this is awesome. This is this is just the best. We, <laughs> man, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of makes me feel like this weird mix of Power Ranger, Biker, Biker Mice from Mars, and Knights of the Zodiac. Man, <laughs> three different types of toys I like from my childhood in one Power Rangers, because it, it is a Power Ranger toy, and, and the Biker My, Mar, Mice from Mars because it is a. Uh, a toy with a motorcycle, which is cooler than cool, and of course an armor that transfer to to the ranger and to the and both to the ranger and to the 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 um, cycle, kind of make me remember Knights of the Zodiac toys. And man, this is great. And I have only the green Astro cycle, but here we we are seeing the red one. We have the green one, which I made lots of reviews on this channel. I'll leave the the playlist on the description if you guys want to see a detailed review on this figure. We have the blue Astro Cycle, and we have the Magna Defender Astro Cycle, which the Magna Defender on the series does not have the Astro Cycle, but here yeah, he has the toy on the toys version the toys universe <laughs> yeah again showing off again so you guys can see how awesome it is <laughs> then we have the morphers we have the transmorpher galactic morpher it, it, it is right is reading here transmorpher but we know it, it, it is the galactic morpher now it has some lights and sounds and stuff like that we have the magna defender morpher which is a morpher uh, unused from the Die Ranger series, a little bit of trivia for you guys. And we have this Galaxy Morpher, which um, I don't know, kind of looks like the Turbo Rangers Morpher with the key and the Morpher, Morpher to become the Turbo Rangers. Maybe it is it is a recycle of that toy. Uh, Bandai thought we wouldn't notice, but we notice. <laughs> Then we have the Quasar Saber, which is very cool because the the Quasar Saber grows. I saw a review of this this toy on YouTube. It's very cool. You, you can swap the the beasts coins on the saber, and the saber grows if you want. And also has some lights and sound. Pretty neat. Then we have this Galaxy Blaster, which pretty much is a repaint from the In Space Blaster. We can see that because of the logo, the In Space logo on the toy. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> and we have the Trans Dagger. The Trans Dagger is pretty cool because it has lots of different modes. It has the Dagger mode, it has the, uh, the Beast mode, the the bow mode, the double dra daggers mode, because it is a dagger that can transform in two daggers. <laughs> so yeah, we have the daggers mode, we have the one dagger mode, and we have also the this claw mode. So one weapon can transform into different sort of weapons. That's a very creative way to make Power Ranger weapons, transforming five different weapons, which is pretty neat. And boy, it would be nice to have this trans dagger. Then we have the blast, uh, the quasar launcher. I don't remember this 
this being used on the show, I may be, maybe it was used on the show, and, and since it's been a long time I've watched this series, I don't remember. Let me know in the comments below. But it's basically a Power Rangers bazooka. <laughs> sort of like that. Then we have the Magna Blaster, which is the Magna Defender's weapon. That That is a blaster and a sword. Pretty neat. Then we have the Intermediate Galaxy Zord. And this is Intermediate Zord. It, it means that it is a taller Zord than the Action Zords we saw previously. But it's not a Deluxe Zord that actually transform the, the deluxe are that transform into five different galactic beasts so that's why it is called the intermediate it's in between uh, from the normal toy and the deluxe toy and I, I must say it's it's pretty it kind of sort of have some die cast pieces for what, for what I can see in the picture maybe it's just a shiny plastic I don't know but kind of looks like die cast and the Intermediate Toral Zord, pretty cool. And we have the Deluxe Galaxy Zord. We have lots of reviews of this uh, Galaxy Zord on YouTube, you guys can see easily. It's one of very reviewed uh, Rangers Megazords. And I wish I could have this one, but I don't have it. <laughs> Unfortunately, but it is the Deluxe Galaxy Megazord. The difference be between the Intermediate and the Deluxe Galaxy Megazord is that the Deluxe Galaxy Zord actually transform into five different beasts. The five different uh, Rangers, the Mega, the five different Zords that actually transform into one Megazord. So that's why it is Deluxe. It is more expensive though. <laughs> Then we have the Deluxe Defender Torozard, which comes with the Magna Defender Warrior Mode and the Toro to transform into the Torozard. Then for some reason we have the Japanese counterpart, counterpart of the Galaxy Megazord into the American toy line. I don't know if it was a common practice. Or maybe it was one time that Bandai in America decided to import the the Japanese <coughs> the Japanese toy version, and it says here that it has diecasts. So yeah, that's that's probably something they tried to to make for hardcore collectors. Here, here, it's a diecast Zord. Go grab it. And I wish I had this this Zord because I really love the Lost Galaxy. Zord, Mega Zord. Then we have the. Uh, it has a weird name. Let me see here. Uh, it's not just the Golden Galaxy Mega Zord. It has a weird name. Let me see. I can f if I can find it here. Uh, the Foul Swat Swatzard. Exclusive Deluxe Gold Galaxy Megazord. I don't know. I don't know why it's called Foul Swartz. Swartz. I don't know. What does that mean? If you guys know, please, please let me know in the comments below. But basically, it is a black and gold version of the Lost Galaxy Megazord. They do that some. Sometimes they get some some special zords and transform them into golden golden black editions and sometimes black and blue greenish editions and it's pretty neat but i rather much the original version because it, it has more colors <laughs> then we have the micro play sets the deluxe micro play, play sets and boy oh boy these ones are very cool because if you close all together you have a nice sculpture of the ranger helmet which by itself is very cool and i have a, a helmet here which is just a, a popcorn uh, bucket but i like to use as part of scenario <laughs> and by itself the toy would be great but that's not all that's not all at all <laughs> we have also two little rangers here yellow ranger 
and uh, Red Ranger. Uh, there's probably some action and stuff to do inside the <coughs> the the playset. That's why it's called the playset. The playset itself always has some gimmicks inside of it. And as a bonus, it has the evil space guy. And this that kind of looks like the red lion sword. And man, this one is very cool. I, I haven't found any online review on that. Actually, I haven't find find this one to to be bought anywhere. So if you guys if you guys haven't, please make a please make a review because it's gonna be awesome. And I wish I, would, I could see what what it does. What are the gimmicks it has? And this is the Galax Galaxy Power Ranger Deluxe playset. We have a Galaxy Megazord playset with the pink and green ranger here. Also the, that crazy alien. Uh, and as a bonus, a um, micro <coughs> Megazord toy. But this Megazord is lacking the, the chest piece. Maybe you have to combine with the chat, the chat, the the red lions art from the previous playset. Ah, ah, Bandai, we know what you did there. I don't know. I'm just supposing you have to do that. Maybe you don't. And then we have the Zenith Career Sword, and it's also a deluxe micro playset. It comes with the Blue Ranger. It makes sense because the sword is blue. Uh huh. And as a bonus here, it comes with the <coughs> Magna Defender. Pretty neat. And, and I haven't seen any online review on this one too. Then we have the Centaurus Micro playset with a bonus Red Ranger or Pink Ranger. I don't know for sure. I guess it is the Pink Ranger here. <coughs> and also the... The playset can transform into the Megazord, a whole Megazord, which is pretty neat. And we have the Conquering Power Rangers. Man, these figures really look nice. They were supposed to be canon to the show, but they didn't appear on the show. But it was on their plans to show the the these armor. And man, they look neat. <coughs> You can get the armor and transform it into a Galactic Beast and attach the Galactic Beast on the Power Ranger. Kind of like a Knights of the Zodiac toy. Awesome! <laughs> Unfortunately, these toys are very rare, rare and expensive to find. And since they have lots of different pieces, they're very hard to find. Complete. Yeah. Someday I wish I can have these ones. Some days there's always a chance. We have the green conquering Power Ranger, the blue conquering Power Ranger, and also the Magna Defender conquering Power Ranger, which is out of the the four the the Magna Defender is the most difficult to find for some reason. Then we have the Armored Power Ranger, which uh, actually appeared on the show. Just the Red Ranger had, had his armor, the other Rangers didn't have on the show. But on the toy line they do have, <coughs> at least the male Rangers. And uh, we have the, the figure, which I made a review of this figure on my channel. I'll leave the playlist below so you guys can watch all the reveals. It comes with the... Lies of War Orion's um, little piece of armors, and is the only Power Ranger toy with the Galact Saber actually transformed by the Lies of Orion. <laughs> it's pretty neat because you can have the Lies of Orion power up, and you can have the armor, which is awesome. And yeah, that's the weapon that Leo used on the show to actually defeat the. Trakina on the last episode. If you haven't watched, it, sorry for the spoilers. <laughs> and it's pretty awesome. I love this toy. I have this toy. 
I had the Green Ranger version of this toy when I when I was a kid, and I still have it, but it was it's, it's all busted, so I didn't make a review. But the Red Ranger I bought some years ago, and it's awesome, and I love this toy. Here we have the Green <coughs> Armored Power Ranger, which again was part of my childhood. I love this one. He can actually fire missile if you press this this green missile here. And the blue armor Power Ranger, which I, I have, but inside the box, so I don't want to open. My version of this toy came with the a poster, because I bought a, an European version. I don't know if all European versions had this poster, or just I that got lucky. And then we have the Explorer set of uh, Power Rangers. This Explorer set is very similar to the Moon, Moon, uh, Moon, Ex Moon Explorer on the Power Rangers in space. They sort of have the, an armor with them, with a weapon that kind of makes a gimmick. I saw uh, some reviews on this toy online. We have the Red Ranger with a uh, moving claw. <coughs> The Green Ranger with some sort of um, scissor-like weapon that resembles the Condor, the Galactic Condor. Ah, awesome. We have the Blue Ranger with a claw, also with a claw. The Yellow Ranger with her strength dagger and also a action claw. And we have the Pink Ranger with some sort of a blaster or bazooka. And also the the Magna Defender with awesome some sort of claw-like thing. Pretty awesome. Now we have the Blasting Power Ranger series. I have these toys. I made a review of these toys online. Uh, you, you guys can check out the playlist here. And they're basically, uh, they have some action on the leg, that you press the leg and the weapons make some gimmick. I don't have this gray uh, Galactic Saber that comes with, the, with all the toys. My, my toys didn't come with, with this piece of uh, this, with this weapon because I, I bought it, used it some two years ago and that's why I might don't have this toy this weapon but neither the last they're they're all in good condition you guys can check them out on the playlist we have the red blasting power ranger the green blasting power ranger the green one doesn't come with the weapon I wonder why 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 doesn't he have the the Galactic Saber, why? Probably because his weapon is bigger. Maybe it's that. The blue Blasting Power Ranger. The pink Blasting Power Ranger that, oh, that comes with a missile. And I didn't know this missile can fire. And I tried today to fire mine and I broke the other leg. Because you have to press one leg, you have to, you have to action... Uh, Press the other leg in order to pull the the left leg that makes the the gimmick, and I pull it a, bit, a little bit harder and broke the the Power Rangers leg, and it didn't fire <coughs> the missile. I I saw that it can fire by <coughs> flipping the weapon by itself because it has the weapon has some the the attachment that goes on the arm. And by turning the arm, I saw that it that actually fires the missile. But I was unable to fire by pressing the leg and triggering the action. Then we have the Pink Ranger, uh, which also has some gimmick. Uh, her weapon is the least cool because it just shakes a little bit uh, the her extra weapon. And then we have the... Magna Defender that also doesn't come with an extra Aquaza Saber-like weapon. 
and his weapon kind of looks like the the Green Ranger's weapon, which you can attach on the on the belt and turn up with the dial. Different from the from the other ones that you have to press the leg. Now we have the Automorphin Power Rangers, and boy, oh boy, the Automorphin Mighty Morphin Power Rangers were very popular, at least here in Brazil, and probably around the world because they really release it. <coughs> and seeing the they they have a, a, an Automorphin version. Oh. Seeing that they made they have an automorpher version of the the Lost Galaxy Power Ranger is pretty cool, but this one is a deluxe automorpher if, if we can call it that because it morphers with the press of the button of the the Galaxy Morpher, which is works sort of like a remote control, and it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I wish I could see reviews of this toy online. I haven't found anywhere <coughs> reviews of this toy online. It would be cool to see how it moves, how it works, and if it does another stuff than than actually just flipping the 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 head to transform. It would be pretty cool. Wireless Magic Morphin Action. Wireless. Back in 1999. That's technology. <laughs> That's actually technology. Wireless Power Rangers on 1999. Way ahead the gaming industry, Power Rangers. Yeah. We have the Blue Automorphin Deluxe Wireless Magic Morphin Action. <laughs> and the Blue Wireless Magic Morphin Action, the Power Rangers. And for some reason we also have the Silver Deluxe set. The Silver Ranger is from the In Space Power Rangers. I don't know what is it doing here on the Lost Galaxy toy line, but maybe the Silver Ranger was very popular so they, they decided to re-release it. I don't know. But it looks a Pretty neat, pretty awesome Silver Ranger. The Deluxe Centaurus Galaxizord. And the Stratoforce Galaxizord. And of course the Zenith Carryzord. Which you can place all the previous two Zords to become uh, the extra, extra Galactic Beasts. And here we have the Jet jammer, Jammers. And boy oh boy, I do love these Jet Jammers. They 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 have the Alliance of Orion on the on the basic figure. And unfortunately they don't have the claw that comes with the the Alliance of Orion power power up. And I don't know why they decide to not have the the claw, which is very cool. Maybe it is because it would be difficult for the ranger to actually maneuver the jet chamber with the claw. Huh? Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, they're they're very cool. I guess these are the only rangers that have not just motorcycles, but jammers, uh, but this space little ships too, too. That's why they call it Jet Jammers. Uh, we have the Red Ranger Jet Jammer, the Green Ranger Jet Jammer, <coughs> the Blue Ranger Jet Jammer. This picture is actually better than the other ones. We, ha we have more grass of details here. Awesome. We have the Yellow Ranger Jet Jammer. And we have the Pink Ranger Jet Jammer, and I guess it's the only time we can see the the both Yellow and Pink Rangers with the Lights of Orion power up in an American version. There's a Japanese version; they do have the Lights of Orion power up, power up but the American ver version <coughs> it's the only one that we can have the Lights of Orion power up. Oh, even the Magna Defender got uh, his Jet Jammer cool 
And last but not least, we have the Galactic Speeder. No, this one, this, this is not the last one. We have the Galactic Speeder, awesome with the Lights of Orion power up, and that makes me a little confused to make the difference between the Jet Chamber and the Galactic Speeder Lights of Orion uh, toy the figure di differentiation because they they look very alike. Maybe it's the same actual base figure. Who knows? This Galactic Speeder, they 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 are sort of like a, a ship that transforms into a motorcycle. That the motorcycle det detach and the, the ship goes. I haven't seen much online reviews on this toy, but I, I remember the the propaganda with these toys. So they are, they appear on the TV commercial. We have the Green Ranger. <coughs> Man, I'm losing my voice. We have the Green Ranger. We have the Blue Ranger, Galactic Speeder. And the Magna Defender, Galactic Speeder. Project Missile Fire Action. And we have a special, special vehicle for the Magna Defender, the Magna Rotator. Which looks pretty awesome. I don't know what it does or what are the gimmicks, but looks crazy and then cool. <laughs> and we have the collector's collector's piece of cake because this one is a Galaxy Power Rangers Mega Pack. A Mega Pack we we buy we buy in just one box all the six Rangers. So I believe it's very economic because you just go there, buy one box, all the Rangers within piece of cake. Yeah. And these one are the Talking Power Rangers Mega Pack. They have all the weapons and accessories from the Talking Rangers in just one box. Awesome! And we also have the Blasting Power Ranger Mega Packs. And by this Mega Pack I can see that the Green Ranger does not have a, a Quasa Saber because we can see here the Quasa Saber for the Pink Ranger, Quasa Saber for the Red Ranger, for the Blue Ranger, and for the Yellow Ranger. So both Green Ranger and Magda Defender, they don't have a Quasar Saber and a Defender Blaster. Why? <laughs> Why they don't have it? <laughs> Who knows? And we have also again the, Cent the Centaurus Megazord, maybe it was duplicated. Uh -oh, here. And then we have the Charging Galaxy Megazord. This one, it, I believe, is the only toy that we have the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Megazord with the Light of Orion. This one also has wireless something action. I can read it, what it's reading here. And they really, they were really forward with this wireless uh, thing. Pretty neat. I don't know what it does, and I haven't seen any review of this Galactic Ranger, but it looks pretty cool. The Astro Galactic Megazord, which is just uh, a black and gold version of the Astro Mega Ship Zord. And last but not least, we have the Capsular Cycle. They fire some miss missile action, and yeah, they're they're the they're the capsule cycle from the show. Only the Red Ranger can transform his cycle f um, from regular motorcycle to the capsular cycle. But we can see that the Green Ranger and the other Rangers also have a capsular cycle, even though the, their design look pretty much the same, at least from looking on these pictures. The Blue Ranger and Magna Defender. Galaxy Capsular Cycle. And that's it guys. That's 100% all Power Rangers Lost Galaxy toys from Bandai of America. Boy, this video destroyed my voice. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Check out the playlist to see some of the toys I have from the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. I made a reveal. So, until next time.